In Chapter 5, we talk about the importance of labeling the medication that you're using by a time. And we talk about the importance of taking care of the medication in terms of temperature. Uh, you can't have uh, refrigerated medicine sitting outside because it loses its strength or you would not want to leave uh, penicillin liquid form out in a car where it's very hot. So um, time and temperature are a major concern in dealing with the health field. Um, I'll talk more about how we measure time since in the last chapter we talked about temperature a bit already. We use military time or it's really called international time and this is the 24 hour clock. There's a nice diagram on page 78 in the new book that helps you see how the time is, is calculated. So if we make a clock where this is 12, 6, 3, and 9, beginning at 1 2 so on this would be 100 200, 300, 400, 500. This would be the AM. When it gets to 1200, which is noon, in the afternoon, this now becomes 1300 and 1400 and 1500 and 1600. That way we do not have to distinguish between 1 a.m. and 1 p.m. or a.m. and p.m. is not an issue because if someone forgets to write a.m. or p.m. then in, uh, you have a patient in the hospital or the nursing home that becomes a real issue and so by using military time then we no longer have that problem. So the examples of problems that you'll be dealing with will be okay if it is 6.23 p.m. what time is it? And so if it's in the afternoon, you're adding 12 onto that. So the time would be um, 1823. Now if it's in the morning, let's say you have 2.34 a.m. then the time is 0 so afternoon adds 12 a.m. if it's not a four digit number you add a zero in front So kind of tricky, what if it's 12.02 a.m. Then the time would be, 
like this. So any time between 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. would be just whatever the minutes are. So if you have 12.36 a.m., then it's just 0036. If you have 102 a.m., then there's your time. It's always a four-digit number.